I want to see something different, creative, something that, you know, wasn't necessarily bought, but something that took a lot of extra time. and I'm out here at the Hot Wheels Legend Tour. It's really awesome out here, there's lots of cars. I'm coming out to these events, is always a lot of fun. You get to see the creative side of people. I mean, the car culture is huge here, so, and over the last five to 10 years, it's grown immensely. The turnout of this and all of the energy and the vibes of the people, it's, it's really great out here. I'm uh, Brandon Newman, and this is my 1958 Lily really CJ5. So it's a, just a small block Chevy 350, board over a little bit, a little more aggressive cam than stock, power glide transmission, Ford 9 inch, sitting on some 33s, because you know Jeep has to sit on 33s. We used a Camaro front stub for this first section, built our own chassis the rest of the way out. It feels like a go-kart on steroids, honestly. It's, it's darty, it's quick, it handles like crazy. Yeah, I think it does make a good Hot Wheels car. My name is Gary Corns. I'm at the Legends show with my 39 Radial Plymouth truck. Um, I bought this truck about 25 years ago, and then I was at a, an auction and I bought an airplane. For months they sat side by side, and one day I was crushing cars, and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna put that radial in this truck. So this is a seven-cylinder Jacobs airplane engine. It's out of an early 50 Cessna 195 plane. It's 300 horse, 757 cubic inch. I had a guy uh, at a show in Pueblo tell me, I don't know what the big deal is, it's just a plain truck. And so that's what's on the back, just a plain truck. Yeah, my name is Monty Kuntz. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. I've had this van for over 40 years. I built it when I was uh, fresh out of high school. It's uh, 700 horsepower, supercharged, injected on nitrous. It's got over 40 colors of paint on it. The motor is a uh, 383 stroker. It's got a B&M turbo 400 transmission in it. The interior is, is a diamond tufted, crushed velvet, or hand sewn, no, no sewing machines were used in the process of building this. It's got a wet bar in the front, it's got a wet bar in the back, it's got a 200 shot of nitrous that's behind me here. Very radical, it's on the gas, off the gas, it smokes the tires like crazy. Gotta be careful going around corners, you don't step on it too hard because it'll trade ends real easy, real fast. All right, everyone, we all had a chance to check out the cars at the show. This is an amazing turnout. A lot of people here, a lot of cars. What did you all think? There's so much variety to begin with, so choosing a specific type of car was kind of out of the cards. I would say the 38 Chevy that was there, also that Jeep, that was really nice. There's just a lot of unique builds, a lot of crazy body lines, a lot of craftsmanship with like you know the engine, just in general. I mean, it was really a tough decision. I have to mention the shag wag. Like, there yeah. were a lot of vans here. That was awesome, man. I love vans. seeing vans. Uh, I like the corn cobbler. It uh, runs great on the track up here at Vandermeer. The 56 was a beautiful car. I mean, all around, the paint, the workmanship in that car, absolutely amazing. With all that said, we have to pick a winner. What do you all think? <laughs> This was an amazing show. We could not pick an easy winner. There were so many great choices, so much deliberation going on. I do want to thank our partners real quick. You know, Mobile One, Walmart, Mechanicsware, Dickies, Xbox, and Honda. We um, couldn't do this without all of your help, so thank you very much. All right, to the uh, finalist of today's event, the one that will go to SEMA in Las Vegas. You know, we're looking at all different styles, what reads as an instant Hot Wheel. A lot of deliberation went into this, so I'm going to congratulate Bill Henry with the 54 Chevy Custom. So congratulations, Bill, come on up. Thank you. My name's Bill Henry. This is my car, 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air. Uh, we call the car the Lost Soul. We chopped the top six and a half inches to start with on it. We lengthened back in 15 and a half inches on it. And these are retractable headlights and all custom front end except for the grill. The engine is out of the 86 Trans Am. It's a 305, you know, Chevy tune port, fuel injected engine. 
It's got a mild cam in it. It does have a set of headers on it. And the fuel injection has been stepped up a little bit. The skull designs on it came from my daughter. She um, insisted that she wanted these skulls put on it. So I practiced in the garage on butcher paper for over a month trying to learn how to paint skulls for her. Our daughter was a juvenile diabetic. Uh, she passed away at 28 from juvenile diabetes. The car is just a joy to drive. It handles good, it runs good, and it's just fun watching people look and pick out the little changes that's been made in it all over. We'll see, but this car will probably be a part of the family, you know, forever now. It's, it's never gonna go anywhere. It was a really great turnout today. There's lots of really awesome cars. I hope you guys like the winner.